Welcome aboard the Scarlet Lady and video two of my Virgin Voyages series. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so, so that you don't miss any solo cruise tips or videos. One thing I did that was different in this cruise was I tried to not do a lot of research before so that I could get my initial reactions and surprise. But one place I knew about was Lick Me Till I Scream Ice Cream Parlor. You guys are gonna see this place in a little bit more detail later. I don't know if this is normal for Virgin Voyages or not, but I love that rooms were ready as soon as you board it. Typically, the earlier you board the ship, the longer you have to wait to actually get into your room and check in. But with this one, it was pretty much a seamless process of walking on and going straight in. It's time for a room tour. So this is room 14184M, which is a solo insider cabin. All right guys, so this is a tour of the actual insider suite, so. You guys, it is an inside room. <laughs> I will give you that. So this is where your closet is. Um, so you're safe and your mirror and everything is right here. You have a couple of drawers, your beach towels and life vests are in there. Okay, nice little cabinet areas. Let's see what's in here. So your refrigerator, a stool, mirror, Okay, nice size TV. And if you guys notice anything about version, the bed converts to a sofa, so you have to ask them to convert it. There's another mirror here. And this is the most inside of inside rooms ever. <laughs> okay, but the bathroom, that's crazy. The bathroom is a decent size. I don't know where the light is, but. Okay, there it is. The bathroom is actually decent sized. <laughs> it's so weird. So there's your toilet, your sink and all that. Um, you have the glass shower with the rain heads. You guys know I love um, the rainforest shower head. So yeah, but that is it. Not a lot to see in this room. I feel like this is perfect for me. Perfect for four days because I don't intend to be in here much, but uh, we are going to go take a look at some more of the ship and see what we can find to eat. Okay, my hair didn't just let me know. You don't care about what I'm talking about. But within an hour, let's see, in 20 minutes, I have gone through security, got my bags delivered to my room. Everything is complete. So when I tell you guys, this process has definitely been the easiest, um, yeah, best ever. So I am about to head to the galley to grab something to eat because I'm starving. I love the way these lights make these videos look. Yeah, I'm trying so hard to contain myself. But I am so freaking excited. So excited. Oof. Okay, so let's go and find out who is on this cruise with me. <laughs> First time in the elevator and look y'all. So pretty. Oh, the vibes, the vibes. Good job. All right. All right, guys, we found the galley and it's actually only one floor away. So here, this is kind of like the main dining room concept but since there's no main dining room. Um, you come through here and you can take a walk around to look at everything, but you sit at the table and order it and they bring it to you. So definitely different. Remember I told you guys beverages are included, so um, there's the Coke machine and lemonade and tea and all of that. But let me give you guys a quick look at what we're working with up here. Ooh, look at the salad bar. <laughs> Sorry about how quick these views are, but I just wanted to give you guys a glance before um, I started eating. I was driving everybody crazy because they were trying to eat and I was like walking through the way. But of course, like I told you guys, you sit down at your table and you order all of this. So it's really good to kind of take a quick walk through just to see what's available. If you don't know, I love me some breakfast. So one of my favorite features was the Diner and Dash restaurant, which is a 24 hour breakfast diner. Another part of the galley is let's talk about it, which obviously makes tacos. 
That's it for our galley walkthrough for now, but don't worry, we're coming back with a full tour later. So after meeting up with the other girls, we found this beautiful little area outside where you could sit at the galley and they'll bring your food. So there is outside seating as well as inside if you choose to eat there. Hey guys, we are at the galley and here is a sneak peek of everyone. So in putting this video together, I realized with all of my excitement of the first day, I never did a full intro of all the ladies. So to the right is Deja, then you have Vanessa, Alyssa, and Noemi. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how I came to meet these ladies in another video. I think everybody's just ready to eat. <laughs> hey, guys, vacation guys, is deal one. Got some sushi from Bento Baby. So I'm about to try it. I don't have my stand, so I can't let you guys see me actually try it, but I'm gonna come back and let you know how it goes. So this was the bento baby combo which had spicy tuna, salmon avocado, and prawn tempura sushi. And they were so good y'all, like I went here three times. Hi guys, so this is deck 15 right outside of the galley. We just sat out here and ate and it's really cool because they have all of this nice extensive seating. So plenty of gathering areas out here. And here are some Miami views. This is deck 16 directly above the galley. This area is simply called the cabanas and it's just considered to be a relaxation area where you can just lay out, relax, and look at the ocean views. This is actually where the pajama party is going to take place that you guys will see on the next video. If you don't know, the tablet controls everything in your room from your TV to ordering. So, you come in. I'm going to watch it. Welcome aboard Virgin Voyages. Now, I've got some important safety information that I must tell you before cruise. Hi, okay, everybody. You better listen up and listen. So, first impressions recap. Hold on, let me position a little bit. Okay, I'm so glad I got my lighting. Um, so first impressions, the embarkation was so easy. Best embarkation I have ever experienced. It took maybe five minutes and I tried to capture some footage, so hopefully I did right. Um, but the process was basically you walked in, you handed um, them your passport and vaccination card. And of course, unvaccinated guests are able to sell now, so I can't speak to that process. But for me, I just had to walk up to a gate. They gave you your key card and this is like how you buy your drinks. Um, get in your room and do everything. So like I was telling you guys in the essentials video, no lanyards. Um, you just have kind of this high tech bracelet, which I'm kind of worried about keeping up with this to be honest. Even though it is on my arm, um, I'm just kind of concerned for like water and taking it off. Um, so yeah, I went to the galley to eat and I met up with the other girls and everybody is so pleasant. Cannot wait to hang out with them. Um, a little bit more and get to know them a little bit more um, but after eating I decided to come back to the room for a minute because I have to do a mustard drill and of course they are um, room two to a room and so since I have my own room I think my mustard station is um, different than theirs in a way so mine is on deck six and the process was that you had to watch the video on um, the TV first and then I guess you have to go to the mustard station to actually see where it is so that's going to happen at 4.30 and it is 4.13 right now. But I wanted to show you guys the tablet. So this tablet works the lights and works everything in the room. And let me show you guys some cool stuff. Look at that. You can just turn off all your lights. Oh, this might be the best way to film actually. But you can turn off all your lights. You can turn them on of course. Um, let me see if I can get back to the room controls. Okay. So looking at the tablet here, hopefully you guys can read it but you can click um, moods and so you could do like get it on and let me show you guys what it looks like
Okay, so you can kind of see a little bit, but like the, that whole side is pink and it plays that little music, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, and so then there is a photo shoot, which is that kind of bright color um, back there. Zen. So um, the next one is Pumped Up. So let's see what happens with Pumped Up. Uh, it looks like it turned purple. I don't know if it changed or not. Okay, so it is enabled. So it, it didn't do much. Uh, but it seems like Get It On is the funniest one. So um, that is in this tablet. Let's see what else. So also, anything you want to request for your room, like fresh towels, your cabin clean, water, ice, or your laundry picked up, all of that is going to be in here also. Um, let's see. Maintenance. So for entertainment, all of your channels are listed here and it looks like you can get news, which mm, who wants to see news while they're on a the cruise? Uh, but there's MSNBC, Fox News, ESPN, ESPN2. That's pretty exciting. That would have been beneficial to, during March Madness. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's the most part. Uh, everything that's on here. Oh, okay. Then there's a guy that just came on the TV. So maybe I need to move you guys over there so you can see it. Hold on. Okay. I stopped it. So yeah, really high tech. The tablet um, thing is pretty cool. I've heard that sometimes people have problems with them um, and it doesn't work. But it looks like this one is working fine with the exception of it's on 16%. And I'm hooking it to the little pad and it doesn't seem to be charging. So I'm going to request the... Um, cabin people come by and just check this tablet out to make sure that it is going to be fine for when we get back in here yeah it's definitely not charging um but yeah so that is all for now um i'm gonna get ready to go to the mustard drill and i'm gonna let you guys see what that experience is like and then hopefully i can do a little bit of exploring of the ship before we do sail away at 6 30 so be back thought i was tripping y'all but i think we are in motion we are setting sail maybe not no it's moving it's moving i thought it was a champagne we really are moving Okay, so this celebrity party was definitely a different experience than what I've experienced on Carnival. So there was first off free champagne. Of course, this is all adults. So they walked around with trays and trays of champagne while you sailed away. Which you guys can see, I definitely enjoyed myself. Um, another thing to note is that there were no line dances, none of that like kitty kind of celebrity party. It was just like a cool, we're leaving, you know, people were taking pictures and that was that. So. Um, it was definitely an enjoyable experience, but I can't lie, I did kind of miss the party and line dances that you would do on a carnival cruise. Here are some first views of the main pool. Now the biggest complaint I've seen in reviews of this ship is the size of this pool. It wasn't an issue for me since it's all adults and children weren't splashing around, but the thing I will say is there isn't very much shade over here, which made it difficult when it got hot. On deck 16, there is no shortage of options if you're into health and fitness. There was this boxing ring outside, and there also on the inside was this place called B Complex, which is where they call it an active fitness area where you have your strength balls and things of that sort. Since the basketball court was empty, I decided to take a couple of shots and I sucked. There was no other way to put it. I absolutely sucked. <laughs> On the next episode of the June Danielle Experience, find out what I ate that caused this reaction and learn all about the pajama party that takes place on the first night. See you guys next time.